Like, oh, it's no biggie. Can you just uh, take care of that guy? And then he's going to run away. Interesting. This is the scroll of eternity. Excuse me? All of time. All of history. Everything. It's all listed in here. So don't... But... Never mind. <laughs> here, just take a look at this. Oh, it's a TV. Okay, interesting. What didn't see that one coming? Special beam cannon! What? Wow, Goku didn't do enough push-ups or something. <laughs> For real though, Raditz would have taken over the world if that actually went down. Like, there's nobody left to stop Raditz. He just takes over the world. Sells it. GG, we tried. As you can see, if history is in any way altered or distorted, it could change the world as we know it. We have no choice. We have to stop it. We can't let history change. Right now, Goku is in trouble and needs help. Goku's Please. Dead. Goku just got shot through the gut. Oh, it's a teleporting device. Okay. I was like, what's this scroll TV going to do for me? Did, did Samsung make this? Oh no, we bit wet. Did we go back in time to before that moment when he got shot in the this gut? This is your last chance. Come on, join your family, Kakarot. His armor's already been busted, so the Look, first special beam's already gone off. I'll do you a favor and spare you both. Shut up! There's <laughs> no way I'd ever join you! Hmm. Then, playtime is over. What? Should be Gohan. Leave my daddy alone! Ah! <laughs> it was a creepy-ass stare, Reddit. You brat! Stop! Sup. What? Someone you know, Goku? Nope. No. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's someone we can trust. Goku's just got that feeling, I guess. Don't worry, Goku. I'll add you on Facebook after this. We'll be buddies. Invasion of the Earth, Saiyan Warrior Raditz, win conditions, defeat Raditz, uh, lose conditions, uh, get shit on. Alright, I'll do my best to not get shit on. Double Sunday! No matter how much trash there is, it's still trash! Hey, can I get your help? <laughs> Don't be a drag. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Now, He's talking to a robot. You up next time next. Listen, this Raditz, he's stronger and crueler than his historical form. Please, I need you to defeat Raditz so Goku and the others can finish him. Luckily for us, any form of Raditz is still a bitch Raditz, so... We're still good to go. That move sucks balls, by the way. I should have picked... I should have picked straight melee. Horrible. Heartless guy like you is not my brother. I quit. I I give up. I leave this planet quietly. None okay. of these attacks hit, by the way. This move sucks too. Don't let him fool you, Goku. Stop attacking, Piccolo, Dickwad. Like so I've actually played this mission a lot already. Uh, 
because of the beta. This was one of the missions in the beta. There were like three missions in the beta, and that was one of them. I believe. No, no, the one in the beta was the other way around. The one in the beta, you were on a team with Raditz, and you had to take on uh, Goku and them. You had to take on Goku, Piccolo, and then Gohan showed up if you kicked their ass. So yeah, yeah, never mind, that was a reverse the one. So let's look at some of these bonuses you can get. I got a Z rank, which is the first mission that's kind of expected. <clears throat> attack 80, attack accuracy 80% or greater gives you a bonus, and remaining health greater than 80% gives you a bonus. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, while trying to do some of these stuff, we'll try to Z rank. I think it would be cool as long as it's not too insanely difficult to try to go in and Z rank everything. I think that would be super awesome. Also, I th am I level 2? Am I level 2 now? <clears throat> I need to level my stuff up. I will do that. What? What are you doing? Now, Piccolo, do it! Special Beam Cannon! So history is fixed in one more. But on the same note, they probably think I'm an asshole. Damn it! They probably think I'm an asshole because with me there, Goku didn't need to die. With me there, we could have just killed Raditz. But whatever. Serves you right. This needed to happen for history because if not, Goku wouldn't get the training he needed for the Saiyan fight later on. And I'm gone. What was that? Where did... Don't mind me, I'm just the silent hero. White Shadow. I don't know where I'm going with that. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. I didn't think it was your first time. Oh, no, don't mind me. You corrected the timeline. Good job. And with no side effects either. That was a weird smile, Trunks. Please all don't right. ever do it again. Once we have the Supreme Kai of Time put it in a scroll, it'll all be done. Oh, you don't have to worry about Goku. It's fine. He'll be revived with the Dragon Balls. Oh, yeah. And, well, that scroll isn't the only one with a history change. Wasn't that the Elite Scroll of Time or some shit like that? <clears throat> Just talk to me whenever you're ready. Take your time. Okay, so by the looks of it, we just talk to Trunks every time we want to do a main mission. Um, I wonder if I can go do parallel quests now or anything. You can now use all the shops in the shop area. Cool, cool. Okay, I might go check that out. I do need to level up. Let's customize a little bit. Change skill set. Meteor Crest. Alright, consecutive energy blast sucks balls. So, we need to go buy some more stuff. Uh, where is... Boost attributes? Is this the one where... Yeah, alright, so I have six attribute points from leveling up. Um... Let's get max key. Stamina. Actually, I don't need stamina just yet. Even though stamina is super helpful. Um... Health would be nice, but... I don't think I need it yet. So I'm just going to keep up in that for now. Let's just make my punches do a bunch, because I do have that whole Saiyan male thing going for you. Save our changes. Battle items. I have one energy capsule. Small capsule with a healing effect. Recover a little of your health. I don't know how to use those, but sure. Fixed chat. Okay, never mind. That's not important. Alright, let's go. We have 640 Zenny. I don't think I can buy anything cool yet, but maybe I can do some parallel quests. Where the fuck am I? This music is beautiful, by the way. It looks like a Christmas tree, it sparkles. Yeah, this music's good. I don't know. Um, but no, parallel quests are necessary. I could probably do like the first however many missions without doing a parallel quest, but one thing we're on, we got to play the game early at a Bandai Namco event a couple weeks back, and one thing we noticed is that you have to do parallel quests. You cannot just do the story mode. Um, Maybe you can. It would be insanely hard to damn near impossible. We were in the Ginyu Saga, though, and the character that had been played at the Bandai Namco event had had no, um... I shouldn't have gone this way. I should have gone the other way. The character that <clears throat> we were playing as had no, uh... 
What am I? They hadn't done any parallel quests, so they had only done story mode missions. And I was watching Dino trying to beat this, uh, I was watching Ramp Style trying to beat this Captain Ginyu mission. And it was so hard, like, he would land punches, he would barely get hit, but every time he got hit, it took a, so much of his health away, and his moves did so little damage. Because he hadn't done any parallel quests, his character was super underleveled. So it's gonna be one of those games. It's kinda like, kinda like, you know, have you ever played, like, a Fallout or Skyrim game? You can try to run straight through the story, story mode, but you're gonna do, be so much better off if you do the side missions, get experience, get levels, get money to buy more power-ups and upgrade with, I mean, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, that was the vibe that we got from that. Parallel quests are in the other place, but I wanted to check out the shop for a little bit. I don't want to change my clothes just yet. I have enough for Super Guard, which is not worth my time. But he doesn't have anything good yet, so we'll probably just have to keep going. Um, I'll go see if there's a parallel quest open just to see. I'm going to be that guy who's going to do like every... Ah, uh, it's a little cheat cheap. I'm going to be that guy who does like every side quest along the way of finishing the game. We're going to 100% this bitch. That's actually a really good plan to go with. I think I might do that. Going for the one hundo. Uh, offline battles, because we are off the line right now. We are closed right now, so you can... Alright, alright. <clears throat> so the shops are open, but we actually can't buy anything other than a super guard. Oh, Goba's back! You moved! Are you getting closer to what you're looking for? Huh? I got lost again. Taki Taki City is huge. The clothing shop should be in the industrial sector. I can't seem to find. Well, you're in the wrong sec sector, dipshit. But it's okay. You're still adorable. Still love you. Taino? I'm guessing you can say you say that. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, rookie, want to join the Taino Force? I'm the only member right now. Probably not. You adorable little rubber duck. But I'm gonna keep uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of my head. All right, let's go do more missions. And I just bet the more you play, this particularly story mode, the more shit you'll actually unlock. So, I have to get back to the time patrol sector, which is up here. Okay. Already almost getting lost. I don't think you move any faster by jumping, but it adds a little flair to it. So, one thing that I fear is that I'm started, I started playing this game at <clears throat> a little after 11pm, and I'm afraid that I might actually end up playing it all night until morning, and this is just gonna be like a six hour session. Hey! Hey! Dude, don't yell at me like that, man. Oh my god, look in the background. I finally found your mother's dildo. Sorry. Anyways, oh yes, I forgot to tell you something important. Oh, that's good. There are two types of main jobs that the time patrollers have to do. First is time patrol, that you did just now to fix the problems that happened in the scrolls. Second is the parallel quest. Let's see, I guess it's better just experience it yourself. I'm sure you'll get used to it very fast. Uh, do you know where the time is where the time machine port of Taki Taki City is? Go back to Taki Taki City through the gate and head left. Try talking to the robot. Uh, at the building for Parallel Quest PQ registration. I'm sure he'll uh, tell you everything. Well, at least I hope so. Oh good, this place I just came from wants me to go back. Some Parallel Quests can't be started at the registration, but uh, a request from a character in Taki Taki City. Uh, he gave me a scouter. In battle, you can press left to search for enemies. You can find enemies that, that are far away, see enemies hiding behind obstacles, or even view their power level. Looking while in search mode will allow you to view even more detailed information, like we can find shit on the ground. My mom created my mom created the, oh Bulma created this base off of Scouter's Freezes army used to use. There are Scouters out there with a different look, but they function the same. This is the essential battle gear, and they're especially useful in parallel quests. Be sure to equip them and try them out. Okay, so. Does he want me to go do parallel quests now? I would like to see if I can. I would like to see if I can. I know I just ran over here and did this, and it would have been nice if Trunks would have assumed that I wasn't retarded and knew what parallel quests were from the get-go. But It has actually been so long since I've done a playthrough not on livestream. Um, I missed ha I missed having Twitch chat to talk to, but on the same hand, it's really nice when I just don't have to worry about anybody else. I can just really focus on... Oh, we can do it now! I can just really focus on me playing the game and being good at commentating and shit like that, and not always answering questions and stuff. Welcome to the parallel. All right, I know how parallel quests work. You're chosen elite. Welcome to this the parallel quest test. This is where you uh, reduce the effects of runaway time fragments caused by distortions in history. How the time fragments are born is complicated. Just as trunks, the runaway of time, the runaway of time fragments have turned into parallel quests and are floating in time and space. I have to use a special machine. I'll have you defeat. Defeat the enemies that cause the fragments that are out of control. Those runaway fragments are completely unpredictable, and enemies can become allies and vice versa. Don't think too much and defeat the enemies uh, to calm the time fragments. There'll be a good experience for you, and you can gain skills and costumes. I will also reward you based on job performance, after all. Would you like to accept the parallel quest? Yes, sir! 
We have two right now. One of them is, uh... End Trunks' Trial. Sure, whatever this is. Just don't... It, they said to lose all participants at that. They're health depleted. So my teammates can die and I'll be fine. Dude, get that smile out of here. Well, that's not the coolest thing I've ever seen. In Trunks' trial, all participating members have their health depleted. Why do I have a direct message in my life? Oh, because Kagi showed me his created character, and my god, it looks pretty damn sick. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right, here we go. So do I have teammates? But why is there no music? Hey! During parallel quests, you can go to other areas through gates. Let's try passing through one now. Oh, this sounds simple enough. Parallel quests, you can use devices called gates to be transported to other areas. Some are closed at first, but they can be unlocked when the right conditions are met. Go near an unlocked gate, lock onto it, and then press circle to move to another stage. Let's just see anything around here. There's the gate to the mountain. Should I talk to him again, or are we good to go? Hey! No, nope, it's the same shit. Okay. To the mountains! <clears throat> wow, how did you beat me here? Damn, that was fast. Did you see that? I, like, bolted around. Hey! hey! There's an item in this area. Try finding it using the scouter. Okay. You could find items with scouters. Cool. Where you at, bitch? Alright, there's one over here. That's the portal. There's one over there. Let's go pick them all up. The shitty thing about having the scouter on is I can't, like, boost fly with it. Although that would be cool. And I think I actually have to... Yeah, I have to get out of the scour scouter to pick things up, too. Thought I was only going to let me get one thing for a second. Alright. On that mountain. Over here. I kind of wish there was music in the background. I'm not going to lie. And right down here. Alright, so I think once you, once you have it locked on and, like, you're good to go, you can zoom out of the scouter, which is nice. <clears throat> Sometimes in the beta, you had to get really close before it would count. You can acquire items and skills by picking them up and by defeating enemies that use them. Pressing up will bring up a list of obtained items and skills at the bottom right of the quest screen. You will lose items if you fail the parallel quest you want, so be sure to complete the quest. Don't fuck it up. Got it. You can hear the wind, but there's no music. It's so bad. Trunks is gone already. Okay. Wait, which one am I supposed to go to? Okay, Trunks is over there. Alright, I almost went back to Kami's lookout. Yo, my phone is getting lit the fuck up now. Twitter DMs. Being able to DM multiple people at once is like ruining my life. Because my phone goes off every five seconds now if I'm in a group DM. Hey! <clears throat> Use the scouter on the gate to check to see if there are enemies up ahead. It works like that? I mean, it just tells me to go there. It doesn't really tell me if there's enemies up ahead. Lego! Come on, music. Still no music, okay. I can live with this. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any items before we get started. That'll make you sick, Jesus. There's one in that rock! Oh, there we go. Took me a few tries, but we got it. What's up, bitch? Hey! hey! An enemy is coming. Defeat them. During parallel quests, you will sometimes receive a warning that a new enemy or that an enemy comes in as a new challenger. There's also times that you will join allies in battle in a similar fashion. When an enemy or ally joins outside of the area you are in, the location uh, they are in will display on the right side of the screen. Try heading there right away. New bitch incoming. Oh, wow. This is going to be so hard. Right as I say that, he actually starts kicking my ass. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, dude. I don't know if I like my guy's voice already. Damn it. Okay. Oh. New enemy? Oh, good. More Cybermen. It's what I need in my life. What? Okay. Never mind. You gotta lock on and push circles. Like, what happens if you just accidentally fly through the portal? Suck on those nuts. Good god, that attack is awful. You didn't even help your friend. You just watched me kill him, you little shit. Good thing my melees are hella strong, though. Good god, that move. Uh-oh. We ain't done yet, boys. Satisfying certain requirements to complete a parallel quest will cause a change in the time shard. A warning sign will appear and a powerful enemy will arrive. Defeating this enemy will provide with even better rewards. Even if you lose, it will not count as a failure for the parallel quest itself. Oh, that's cool. The conditions for the time shard to change or the winning conditions after the... After the change will vary depending on the quest, but once it is unlocked, you can view it from the Parallel Quest Registration Talkie Talkie City. So I think what that means is um, you won't know the special conditions to get the enemy until you've done it once already. So you're going to have to keep doing quests over and over again until by accident or you do something special and somehow you unlock the enemy. But after you get the enemy to show up once, you can look up what makes him come out. Uh, so that's interesting. This isn't a specially powerful enemy. Raditz isn't any stronger than the Cybermen. Look how close yourself going on. Dude can't handle the melee game right now. I think I'm just going to level up a bunch of like my strike supers. Look at that melee though. We are eating him alive with that shit. Stop bitching behind you. Look at that, it does so much. Good dodges, Raditz, good dodge. How you like it, bitch? Got that power spike. He says damn it a lot. Z rank, Z rank, Z rank, Z rank, Z rank! Sexual release! Okay, good, good. So we got defeated three enemies, defeated the last enemy. Uh, accurate, no sweat, and fought by yourself. Okay, that's cool. You get a bonus for fighting by yourself. And we got three more skill points. Cool, cool. Also, guard, energy shard, and regen shield. Very neat. Welcome back. How was the parallel quest? Unlike time patrols, parallel quests allow you to bring back a lot of, it a lot of items. If you encounter powerful enemies, it'll be great training, too. Please be sure to do the parallel quest in addition to your time patrol. Parallel Quest can be completed with up to three players. You can bring two support characters with you at the Parallel Quest registration offline. Uh, you can also play with other players at the Parallel Quest registration online. Granted, you can go on to Parallel Quest solo if you wish. You can uh, use other Super Warriors as your selected character for Parallel Quest. Try out the Parallel Quest with the team of your choosing. So I could pick teammates from here on out, or I could play by myself and get a bonus. When a circle appears on a KO'd ally, you can revive the character. Lock onto the KO'd ally and move closer to start reviving. When reviving starts, a gauge will fill when complete and the character will be revived. KO'd characters can provide assistance to allies. Lock onto the ally you wish to assist. Press circle to assist base character based on unique attributes. I'll go back to the time nest. If you're ready to come do the patrol, just come talk to me. All right. Where are my manners? The Hercule Satan has returned, everybody. Oh, it is glorious. All right. This is beautiful. Hey, speaking of the Hercule Satan, what is he doing here? My hero. Being represented at the top. Oh, my God. They better explain why his, tro or why his fucking trophy is here somewhere. They better explain the shit out of that. They can't just have Hercule here and not, not tell me why. Alright, let's go see if there's another parallel quest up. I want to try to pick up more stuff, and then maybe we'll hit up the shop after that, because there might actually be some super attacks unlocked for you. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to go to online. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, hold on. I actually have more skill points to spend that I forgot about. Not that one. Boost attributes. Do we want health? 
Um, let's level up the Super Strikers and more basic attack damage. Is my attack really that low? I have a key and stamina bonus. Did I read it? Oh my god, I read it wrong. I totally read it wrong. Okay. Uh, Saiyans have a key and stamina bonus. That's interesting. That's going to change it up just a little bit. Uh, max stamina. Upping that. And we'll throw one more into max key. Wow, that changes everything. Changes how I do my time. I must have read it wrong. Thought I was the Earthling or something like that. I suck, I guess. All right, let's keep going. Offline parallel quest. Um, all? So I've already Z'd that one. So there's really... To me, like, unless I'm just grinding up, there's really no point in going back unless I've Z'd it. All right. Defeat Yamcha Kuro and Tien. All team HP depleted. Time expires. All right. So we got the World Tournament Tag Team. Wow, it said now off you go. Good luck. And I totally... The F and luck got mixed up. And he... I thought he told me to fuck off. Anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> Be mean if that robot told me to fuck off. All right. So I want me on the team. And now I can pick Goku. There's two forms of Goku here. I can have Piccolo and Raditz on my team. I actually would rather not have a teammate for this one. I want to see if I can do this on my own. So we're just going to keep going. Let's try to fly solo here. If it ends up being too hard, we'll come back and get teammates. Defeat Yamcha, Krillin, and Tien. Okay. That's what might be hard. I might have signed up for a little bit more like shoot. Krillin and Tien won't be a problem. I'm deathly afraid of Yamcha right now. No. I won't lose here. Right then. Not gonna be holding back. Are you ready? Here I go. Okay, so it's probably smart to pick one person and eliminate them first. But when I send them flying like that, they're not even trying, so this isn't this isn't bad. I gotta did you see? I put three points, two points into stamina, one point into key. Look at how little that went up. Like you, the point, like you got to put a lot of work into the points and the leveling shit up before it actually shows up. I bet I have to put like ten points in before a full bar shows up. All right, so we've KO TN. I should be able to Z rank this, especially playing alone. You get a bonus for playing alone, so. Not bad. But the real battle has just begun. I hate it when I do that. I do I do the meteor strike after uh No, I'm gonna lose 50% of my health, you dick. Good dodges. Alright, I'm completely out of stamina after that, so I cannot get caught out because I'm done snap vanishing. I should have done that to Yamcha and just ended him, because Yamcha's now like one hit away, so let's just take care of him. There we go. Alright, Krillin. Sup. It's just me and Krillin. I can't believe I defeated the OG Lord and Savior Yamcha. I like that move. I just wish it did more damage. Now, uh, no, no, no! Don't, I don't want to lose 80% of my health, you nitwit. He's gonna keep spamming this. Oh, yeah, good good shit, Krillin. I might have less than 80% of my health, which sucks because I wanted that bonus. So I'm assuming it gets way harder than that because they didn't uh, attack me all at once, and they totally could have boned me if they would have done that. I didn't... Oh, I didn't get to Z rank. It's because I didn't have more than 80% of my health. I know that was it. I'm pretty sure that was it. I still cleared it within three minutes. I still leveled up. But I don't want to do it again and get the Z rank. I'll have partners this time and see if that helps. But I leveled up again. And this is going to be good. So that way when I go into the game, I'll just be able to kick ass. But I, I want the Z rank. I'm going to be like a perfectionist on that stuff. Alright. Change skill set. No, not that one. I always do that one. Boost attributes. Um, I could do more max health. That would help a tad. Let's do one more in basic attack. I'll pop to... Ah, fuck max health, man. If we kick ass, we shouldn't need max health. Two in strike supers. I might just level up everything equally. I don't know yet. Alright, I'm gonna try this. If I screw up this quest one more time, we'll just keep going with story mode. Ooh, or we can do one with Raditz. Hey, Raditz, what's up, man? 